chapter 14. Don't be troubled. You trust God, now trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's home, and I am going to prepare a place for you. If this were not so, I would tell you plainly. When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am, and you know where I am going and how to get there. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We haven't any idea where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had known who I am, then you would have known who my Father is. From now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, Philip, don't you even yet know who I am, even after all the time I have been with you? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father, so why are you asking to see him? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe because of what you have seen me do. The truth is, Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works, because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name, and I will do it, because the work of the Son brings glory to the Father. Yes, ask anything in my name, and I will do it. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world at large cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him, but you do because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. In just a little while the world will not see me again, but you will, for I will live again and you will too. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Those who obey my commandments are the ones who love me, and because they love me, my Father will love them, and I will love them, and I will reveal myself to each one of them. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that name, said to him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us? and not to the world at large. Jesus replied, All those who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and live with them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not do what I say. And remember, my words are not my own. This message is from the Father who sent me. I am telling you these things now, while I am still with you. But when the Father sends the Counselor as my representative, by the Counselor I mean the Holy Spirit. He will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I myself have told you. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give isn't like the peace the world gives, so don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really love me, you will be very happy for me, because now I can go to the Father who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before they happen, so that you will believe when they do happen. I don't have much more time to talk to you, because the Prince of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the Father requires of me, so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going.